Excuse me, it's mine. Mine. No, actually, it's mine. Hey guys, look what I finally got my hands on, the Dyson blow dryer. So I've had it for about, well, how long has it been, babe? Two, three weeks? Yeah. I've had it for like two, three weeks and I won't take it out of the box because it's so nice. It's too pretty to use. It actually looks like it's made out of porcelain. It's so beautiful. Do you want to help me unpackage it, Mills? Yeah? Okay. So it comes in this box. <laughs> Here, hold this one too. Hold this one. So it comes looking like this. I got it in the white because I just have a thing for all things white. And so inside you get the blow dryer, you get the diffuser, and then you get two nozzles. And they're all magnetic. And one of the diffusers is a lot wider, and then one of the nozzles is a lot narrower. So this one just gives more concentrated heat if you want your hair to be uh, a little bit smoother and straighter. I can't wait to try it. I haven't tried it yet. We probably saw every single review on YouTube before we bought this because this wasn't cheap. It was about, how much was it? 500 Canadian? It was $500 Canadian and I know in the US it's about $400 which is kind of steep for a blow dryer. So we're going to see if it's worth it today. What's this? Oh, this is the mat. So there's like a heat mat that comes with it. So you just place this on your countertop and then you place the blow dryer on top. So I guess it protects the surfaces from the heat. I wonder if that means that this blow dryer gets really hot. So this is my very first time using this blow dryer. I haven't used it yet. You wanna hold this? Yeah? Okay, so all of the attachments are magnetic, so kind of touch it and it goes on and then it has the heat setting and then the air setting and then that's your power button so you have your three heat settings and then you have your three air settings so the air setting basically that's like how much pressure and air comes out of the blow dryer itself and then the heat settings is how hot it actually gets and then you have the cool button. You have the cool button. So the cool button, you have to hold it down the whole time you want the cold air to come out, which kind of sucks. But it's not very loud for a blow dryer, and it has an extra long cord, which is amazing. So I just quickly shampooed my hair and um, I'm going to give it a quick rough dry. I'm going to use it on full blast, so high heat and high air, which is generally how I blow dry my hair. So I'm going to get about 50% of the moisture out of my hair before I start round brushing. It just makes it go a lot quicker. Okay, that was honestly the fastest I've ever rough dried my hair. It knocked my tree over. <laughs> Not bad. So after I knocked my tree over, I actually turned the air setting down to medium as opposed to high because I was actually starting to lose control. My hair was starting to fly all over the place. So it was a lot easier for me to style it on medium air and high heat. I was able to get my hair smooth very quickly. Far, this is what we're at. My hair is super smooth. I'm getting a nice flip on the ends. Not bad. Volume's there. I wanted to utilize all of the temperature settings for this review, so once I'm done blow drying my hair on the medium air and high heat, I'm giving it a blast of cold air to set the curl into place. For those of you that are confused by the cool air blast, hair sets once it's heated and cooled in the same exact position. So you can either lock your brush in and let it cool on its own, or you can blast it with a cool air to allow it to cool down even faster. I found this technique very effective with this blow dryer, so I'm just smoothing it out with the hot air and then setting the curl into place using the cool air. 
And as I'm twisting it, I'm giving it another shot of the cool. for this last piece on my crown I'm blow drying the last section forward because I want it to be styled in the opposite direction of where it's going to lay and that's what's going to give me maximum volume and then just finishing it off with a cold blast of air and twisting it and blasting it with cold air just to set the curl into place voila And I don't usually use too many products in my hair because I only shampoo my hair once a week. But uh, as my finishing for this blow dry, I'm using diamond oil from Redken. My hair is exceptionally dry in the winter, especially my ends. So what this oil does is it actually penetrates through your hair. It doesn't sit on top like a lot of serums do. So my hair doesn't get greasy with it at all. It just kind of closes my cuticle up and gives me a nice finish at the end. So I like to kind of put a few drops into my ends. was the easiest blow dryer I've ever done. Okay, so one of the concerns I had was I'm used to my blow dryer being about that big. So when I'm round brushing my hair and I have the brush in my hair, I like to make the transition from brush to blow dryer back to brush. So because this blow dryer is so short compared to my regular blow dryer, I was having a hard time making the transition. I think that once I use it more regularly, I'll get used to it. I don't really think it's a big deal. So I had the air up to high and I had the heat up to high, which is normally how I blow dry my hair because it's so thick, coarse, and curly. But with this, I noticed that I was losing control very quickly because the air setting on high is like crazy. Like it knocked my Christmas tree over and I know it's a tiny dinky little tree, but the air setting on max was I was completely losing control. So I blow dried my hair on high heat and medium air. I didn't take it up to the high air because my hair was flying all over the place. Ergonomically speaking, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, especially behind the chair at work. Like eight to ten. Hey, mommy's talking. Excuse me, mommy's talking. The motor is in the handle and it's not top heavy. So it's a lot more comfortable to blow dry my hair with it. And I suffer from carpal tunnel, so it's definitely going to make my job a lot easier. It's way more comfortable. Did you put tea? And tea like here? Atta. Atta. It's not hot to have it on cool. It's 400 American and 500 Canadian, right babe? Yeah. Okay, is it worth the money? As a hairdresser, yes. I would pay 500 bucks. Well, I did pay 500 bucks for it, and I know that I'm gonna make my money back on it behind the chair at work, so I feel like I can justify it. Not only that, I felt that it was a lot quicker to blow dry my hair, so now in the amount of time that I'm doing one blow dry, I know I can do at least one and a half, maybe two blow dries. So at the end of my schedule, at the end of the day, I will be able to take an extra few clients, which is great, so I feel like I'll be able to make my money back quickly. Uh, with this investment. So as a hairdresser, I feel like it's worth putting the money in. As just a regular consumer buying it for home, can I justify paying $500? Maybe if I was balling, I would. I mean, it's definitely worth the $500, but there's so many blow dryers under the $100 price point that you can use at home and be just as fine with. But again, if you have the money to invest, in such an expensive blow dryer just to use at home for yourself, 
I do think it is worth the money. My blow dryers usually last me about a year, year and a half, and I use them full time at work. In terms of its like lifespan, I have no idea. It's still pretty new. But I mean, it, at the end of the day, you have a two year warranty with it, so I'm kind of comfortable with that. I feel like in using it regularly full time at work for two years, I'll be more than happy with my money's worth. Like this is heaven sent and a long cord is like exactly what you need because when we're at work and we're behind the chair We're like going this way. We're going this way. So the extra long cord is heaven Loves it and also it produces negative ions, which is really good It prevents static in your hair and I know that during the winter months your hair is a lot more dry and staticky so That's definitely ideal. I mean overall I think it's like a glorious machine and I feel like it's kind of the future of the hairdressing world, um, I feel like it should be mandatory for every hairdresser to eventually invest in this because I mean it's going to make my job so much easier using this. As for all the hairdressers out there, go buy one. It's worth it. It's definitely worth the money. And um, if you're balding, buy it for yourself at home. Hey! It's not hot, I have it, I'm cold. It's, it's cold. Mommy's never gonna let you touch this. It's too pretty. I don't want to take it to work. I want to keep it at home for myself. It took me two weeks to take it out of the box because it was so beautiful. I just like stared at it for the first two weeks because it literally looks like it's made out of porcelain. Look how beautiful it is. And say bye-bye. 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 Excuse me. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, millennialmama.ca, for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe.